Hey guys, sorry about the no makeup, sorry about the puffy eyes, <clears throat> but I did want to just do a little bit of a check-in today. Wow, I'm having a hard time holding this straight. Um, so Monday Norm had his bypass surgery. Um, he was supposed to go in at 4. I'm sorry, he was supposed to go in at noon, be done by 4, and be awake by 7.30, 8 o'clock. At noon he went in, at like 3.45 they came out, they said the surgery was a success, it was perfect, instead of having a quadruple, he only had two, his heart was healthy, everything looked great. Um, at 9 p.m. they still could not wake him up yet, um, his blood pressure and everything was not stable, um, his breathing wasn't correct. Uh, between midnight and 1 a.m. they came out and told me, um, well let me back up, at about 10.30, they said, they told me I should go home, that they probably wouldn't wake him up until tomorrow morning. Well, first of all, um, I wasn't going anywhere because he wouldn't have left. Second of all, um, my neighborhood, um, I live in Baltimore County in um, Maryland. You may have heard it was on national news. My neighborhood was the one where the officer was um, run over and killed. And my neighborhood was basically on lockdown while they were trying to find um, the four suspects who were robbing the house. And um, so I really didn't know if I could get home anyway. Um, my kids were safely at home um, with the dogs. <laughs> and um, so I knew they were okay. Um, Carly's firehouse was the one that responded. Um, she was thankfully not working. Um, thankfully only because of at the, what I was going through at the time and don't know that I could have handled her being on that call um, at so let's see where were we um, so at between midnight and one they came out and told me that um, he was bleeding internally that this happens in like a one to two percent case and he had a bleed or something was wrong they had to open him back up they went in to open him back up um, they came back, surgery took about two hours, so um, they came back out at that point, said that they had gotten it, they needed to stabilize him before they could actually wake him up. Um, at this point, my uh, Norm's best friend Mark was there, um, he was the only one with me, we were basically the only two like, I felt like awake in the entire hospital. Um, we sat and talked, we watched dumb TV, we watched them cover the what was going on at, at our neighborhood. Um, over and over and over. Um, he kept me calm. <laughs> At 2 a.m., they let me back in to see him. His um, vitals were just all over the board. They were, blood pressure was up, blood pressure was down. It was craziness. Um, somewhere around 4.30, 5 o'clock um, in the morning, I finally asked, you know, they they were still having a hard time stabilizing him, and I finally asked, should I call the kids? Should I should I get them here? I mean, this isn't right. The nurse said, if we can't get him awake by 6 a.m., then yes, call. And I said, okay. Um, at 6 a.m., they came out and they said that he was stable, that he they finally got his blood pressure and everything stabilized, and they were trying to wake him up, but he kept fighting the tube, and the tube has to come out really easy. So and if you know Norm or have ever seen Norm, the fact that he was fighting his breathing tube should not be a shock to you. Um, so they basically put him under a very heavy sedation, and um, at about noon yesterday, they were able to take his breathing tube out. Um, oddly enough, at 3 yesterday afternoon, he was walking. Um, he was talking, he was joking, he was being goofy. Um, but it gave us quite a scare um, Monday night into Tuesday. He had no idea what was going on um, at home with the officer who was down and, and the fact that our schools were on lockdown until 8 o'clock at night. Um, he woke up on Amber's birthday, which was great. Um, but he, he gave us all quite a scare. So I've been off work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, I did not, wasn't eating well. Luckily, his um, 
uh, Norm works sometimes uh, because of what he does. He does work sometimes in the hospital he's in, and a lot of the corporate members know him. So they were all making sure that I was eating. They were bringing me sandwiches and things from other places besides the hospital. Um, yesterday, I came home around 3, 30, 4 o'clock because I had to sleep. I hadn't slept in two days. Um, his, uh, we stopped at McDonald's for Carly, and since this is a Weight Watchers um, partially channel, I'll tell you, um, I ate Weight Watchers, or I ate Weight Watchers. I ate McDonald's, and I felt like I ate McDonald's in my sleep. Um, however, this morning is my, um, one year anniversary of being on Weight Watchers. So, um, I got on the scale and I'm down 50 pounds. I actually made it to my 50 pounds. Not the way I wanted to do it and it probably won't stick, but on my Weight Watchers anniversary I am 50 pounds down. Um, so this morning I am having a peanut butter and banana smoothie, which is pretty good. Um, I'm going to pack a salad and a lot of fruit to take with me to the hospital today. Um, I cannot see him until 11 because um, they're going to try to move him to his um, the, the unit where he will recover from. It's called the step down unit. Um, it's 9 right now, so I'm going to drink the smoothie, watch a little bit of TV, um, calm down, <laughs> and then um, I'm going to get out of here and head towards him. So, um, thank you for everybody who has checked in on me, and um, your thoughts and prayers are um, are felt. We, we feel them. And um, I just want to check in and let everybody know what was going on, and that um, hopefully um, this weekend he'll be home. And um, I will keep you guys updated, not only on Norm, but on um, my progress as well. So, Keep the positive thoughts coming. Again, sorry about this <laughs> today. And um, I will see you guys uh, in my next video.